So what is going on guys welcome to the channel if we have not yet met my name is Peter Roberts in today's video I'm going to share with you three warnings that you must be aware of before you go out there and actually build your own life insurance agency if you want to build your own life insurance business or go out there and become a newly licensed life insurance agent just trying to make some money selling life insurance I'm just going to document flip on this camera and share with you the failures and things that I wish I knew on my journey when I was first a solar producer, I did over $500,000 with the issue paid premiums in 12 months selling life insurance on my own pen. I recently partnered with Micah Medcalf, my business partner. We are owners here at Legacy Family Life and we as a team are now doing over six figures a month in production. And I just wanna share with you guys the lessons, the failures and things that I've learned and ultimately help you get to where you wanna go in your life insurance business or as an agent to hopefully help you make more money. Here's a video that I wish I saw when I got first started and ultimately I wanna share some of the risks that nobody in this industry is willing to share with you. The reason I make this video was a story that I got this week. So I was doing um, just some, some meetings with some people in this business who are, and I got to speak with a guy who was way ahead of me in this business, way ahead production wise, it's absolutely crushing, been in this business a long time. And um, he told me something that was very important that actually inspired this video. He was like, you know, I had a guy that come in, uh, we thought he was legit, you're gonna be successful. And he smacked us over the head with over six figures in chargeback debt. I'm like, what do you mean? A lot of people come into life insurance industry and they think, you know, anybody can do this. I'm gonna make 40, $50,000 per month. I'm gonna sit back, sip on my margaritas, uh, lift my feet up on the beach, make all this passive income, make all this residual income, and I'm not gonna be the 1% that doesn't have to do much work. I'm gonna live the dream. Now, the dream is possible, but to get there, you have to go through a lot of pain. And I've started to go through a lot of this pain and these downturns in my own business and my personal production that I wanna share with you guys here today in this video that I believe no one is willing to share. So the first warning or the first risk that you need to understand, and the best thing about risk is that if you can learn to mitigate the risk, you can actually make a lot of money in this industry. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how the first risk that you need to bear, be aware of is chargebacks. Now I gotta share with you another little story with chargebacks is when I first got started in this industry, I knew nothing about life insurance. It took me 15 days to ever make my first deal. And actually the lady that was actually first training me, she was selling five to seven policies every day. She was sending videos, pictures of her in a room, just cranking out policies. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is possible. If she can do it, I can do it too. The moment I realized, huh, there's something weird going on. So train me, train me, train me, come to find out after a month and a half of training and being in this business, writing 50,000 a month, crushing it, turning heads and thinking that she's an absolute stud. Come to find out she was writing bad business, bad credit card information, bad banking information, bad clients and complete fraud. She was selling people who don't need policies, writing business on people who never even wanted life insurance. And she got advanced all this money. So what happens is the insurance company doesn't know the difference between good and bad business. And a lot of insurance companies will actually advance you money. So if you're selling five to six policies, insurance companies will be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to keep upfronting you money. You're making 30, $40,000 a month because you're writing good business. Come to find out bad business. What happens is what happened in the first situation is that people will come in They'll, you know, somewhat seem ethical. They'll do the right thing. They'll make all these policies. They'll sell these policies, but you don't have control if they're going good or bad business. And what happens when they leave the industry? You are stuck with all their debt, their roll-up debt. So people come in and they have chargeback debt, and everybody that you recruit, and everyone tells you recruit, 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 bring everyone in. But the problem is. All it takes is a few people to absolutely destroy your business if you have no control of your business and it can put you in a bankrupt situation. So the first thing is chargebacks that you need to be aware of as an independent producer. So as an independent producer, before I ever started building a team, I focused on how can I make myself actual money and how can I minimize my chargebacks? So I built out some systems. I tried to you know, even text my clients. This was at the, the immature or premature stage of me being an agent is I realized that I needed to not log into my computer every day and get chargebacks and that was the case for the longest time. So I had to figure out better ways to sell people, uh, better leads, better quality of leads, more engaged leads, people who actually wanted the product, and more importantly, selling a product to people who actually needed something was the best way that I've learned to mitigate the chargebacks. And then on the agency side, if you're building an agency, making sure that your agents are accountable, making sure that you have ethical agents and making sure that you have systems in place to understand what type of business is being written can help save you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Unfortunately, the MLM model, which is out there, requires hundreds of recruits, which creates 100 times more risk. Before you start your business, understand that this a huge portion that you need to understand is chargebacks. Second thing is very, very important. On top of the chargebacks comes people, bad people that you need to be aware of. Now, in the life insurance industry, there's no type of, um, 
there's no type of way to actually mitigate the risk, especially if you're just funneling hundreds and hundreds of people in. And the way that we're building our agency is that we are really required to funnel out everyone who's unethical. We are, you know, incentivized to make agents successful and incentivized for agents to do the right thing, which number one allows us to build an ethical business. But secondly, it allows us to understand checks and balances. Everyone is not built for this business. Everyone doesn't have the same ethical compass as us. Everyone that you recruit should have the same level of ethics. But if you go into an agency with the models are out there, it's like, all right, recruit everyone, which means bring everyone in, but they don't have the same vision. They don't have the same, you know, shared values. They don't have the same, you know, moral code. So when they have the opportunity to lie or to do something unethical, are they going to do it? And if you never recruit them, if you never trained them, if you never interviewed them, if you don't know who they are as a person in and outside of work, guess what? Your risk will go up by 10 X. You will be at risk of other people. They will control your business. And all it takes is one bad person doing one something unethical for a lawsuit. One fraudulent uh, claim or accusation against you can ruin your business. So understand as you get into the life insurance business, people are really very important. Good people will create great results for your business, but bad people will ruin your business. So having some, some type of interview process is what we do. Interview whoever who wants to do work with us is let's interview. Let's make sure you're aligned. Let's make sure you're a good fit. Let's make sure your ethics align. Let's make sure you're a man of your word. Let's make sure that you actually fit this culture because most, most importantly, most people don't actually have that. And you want to be aware that if you're building your own uh, life insurance agency. Third thing I want to share with you is that you are your biggest risk by far. And I cannot try to more enough. You are your biggest risk. Now, most people come into the industry. I love you guys. I'm going to be hard with you here because the people that you love in your life, that your, your closest friends, the people that you really care about it, care about you, think about what, what they do for you. They are honest with you all the time. And I just want you to understand, I want you to be honest with yourself right now. Are you actually built to be a business owner? The MLM models, the models in the life insurance agency are told to tell you to recruit, teach you how to get leads, teach you how to go out there and make your agent successful, teach you how to go ahead and fulfill your clients, teach you how to um, care on your clients, teach you how to teach your recruits how to recruit, teach your how to your leaders to teach it, learn how to sell. And that all takes being a business owner. And most people come to this industry because they see the price tag of, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars per month, the glam, but they don't actually know the cost behind that forty, fifty thousand per month. And that's at the expense of you. And I, I love you guys, so I'm gonna say this statement. Some people come to me and say, Hey, I don't know why I'm not making thirty thousand dollars a month. I don't know why I'm not making twenty thousand dollars a month. I'm like, I deserve to make all this money. Some people will tell me, I deserve to make twenty thousand. No, you don't. The market will tell you if you deserve it, truthfully. And people will come to me and I'm like, hey man, have you looked up maybe how to generate a lead? Or have you looked up um, how to you know sell life insurance or how to have a better script? Or have you looked up or searched how to, or how to text a client back if they, if they text me this? Or how to, like the smallest questions that people ask me just basically help me understand that 99% of people are not actually cut out for this. And it's a hard pill to swallow, but if you can understand and digest and break down the truth about yourself as a person can you fulfill all aspects do you have the necessary skills do you have the skills of client service customer acquisition sales processes sales leadership leadership of a team client you know uh, you know success and all these small little things that you need to piece together and if that's the case then every day that you're operating this business you're failing and you're learning and you're going to increase your risk and the moment that you can start learning these skills will be the minute that you will actually start mitigating your risks as you guys go into this business and as you guys start to build the life insurance agency or start to actually make money trying to figure this out, ask yourself who you are as a person and understand that you are your biggest bottleneck. You are the person to hold yourself accountable. And if you are not making the money that you expect or desire to be making, then you are the problem. So just know three things that I wish I had a better grasp on that has now allowed our agency to succeed and do it profitably is that we've learned to mitigate the chargebacks. We've learned to mitigate bad business or bad people or bad ethics through our screening and interview process. And the third thing is that we've, me and my business partner, Micah, we've learned how to recruit, how to have a customer service team, how to generate and build you know, a lead flow system, how to always have people to call, how to have engaged leads, how to have people who actually want the product, how to have have people who want to sell, how to find the right talent, how to look for good talent, how to acquire good talent, how to, you know, um, create better systems and processes and all because we've leveled up, we've made the sacrifices and we've learned these last eight to 12 months, we've had to pay the price and take the sacrifices to get here. This is not the sexiest business. This is not what you guys think, but it's an opportunity where it can be fruitful for you. And if you can figure out how to mitigate these risks, this business can be incredible for an agent and this business can be incredible for an agency owner. But do you have the skills to navigate these rough waters? And do you have the vision and sight to see through the smoke of what's actually happening and you have this self-awareness as a producer or an agency owner to know if you have the skills or the ability to actually perform or succeed at a
at a high level. And if you ask these questions, you can eventually build a dream. You can eventually build a team. You can eventually get plugged into a system to actually make money, to feed your family, to actually provide an opportunity, to work from home, to actually help provide a valuable service. You can actually make money, you know, Monday through Friday and work the weekend. Like it's all at your disposal if you have a great leader, a great opportunity, a great skill set, a great vehicle that you can actually perform in. And I make this video because it took me so long to actually realize this, that there's so many risks that have so much downside that actually create so much you know negativity in the business. But if you can learn how to go through the pain and suffer in this industry, it's like a it's like a moat as Warren Buffett would say. Most people will come in and they'll fail out. So if you can build something strong, you will be there will be a moat around you and your business because most people can't achieve what you achieve. So are you competitive enough? Are you skilled enough? And are you you know wise enough to pull this off? The question is, uh, I'll leave that up to you. I love you guys. Just talking in my journey and I just want to share with you every step and piece of this so that you can make more money, that you can succeed and you can feed your family and just kind of share with you the lies and truths that I've learned through this industry to help you, um, you know, provide a better opportunity for yourself and your loved ones. Love you guys. Take care. Peace out. Cheers.